I know. I know. Why aren't I wearing shoes? Everybody sit! Good doggies. Everybody down? Can you kiss? Two paws. Two paws. Up. Oh, you have to lick my teeth, right? Tell me, tell a story. What tells you? Tell me a story. Tell me a story. What do you want to say? Tell me. So like it like that. What are we doing at Rob's today? Uh, aggravation and antics, I'm sure. What are we doing today? We're going to try and release the brake pressure on the front calipers. I'm assuming it's somewhere in the line before the brake calipers because both of them are really not locked up because you can drive the car, but they get super, super hot in like three seconds. So we loop jack the car up and we spun the wheel. Well, we couldn't spin the wheels. But the car will push through it, if that makes any sense. Are you dressed? license plate. A little bit. Uh, you didn't buy those. You didn't bring your Harbor Freight ones, did you? Yes, I did. Oh, no. What? Never, ever Harbor Freight Jack's tents. Since you ain't crawling your big ass under the car, what do you care? If I can find the keys. <laughs> This line, since it's brand new, or pretty brand new, I mean, it's <coughs> definitely not an old rotted line. These lines can get so corroded inside that when you step on the brake pedal, it's like a check valve. And then they'll bleed down slowly. That's why I was thinking it was both, but I forgot about the rod. That is the first thing we need to check because that more than likely can be the problem. Down. It's all one hydraulic system. The fluid comes in on one side. It's like the pressure in a house. If you check the pressure in your house, the water pressure, it will be the same exactly everywhere in your house until you run something. Then it will change. But the pressure in the brake system, when you apply it here, it's going through the passage to the other side and it's pushing out. In this, I don't know if it's two cups, this could be a three cup system. So six pistons. It's pushing out three pistons on each side. And if one's off by a sixteenth of an inch. Well. My only thing with this is there's very little play in here, Rob. I mean, very little. But why would they still be locked up right now? Or they're really not locked up right now, but they're really tight. Does not sound good. I have a feeling this is rock. You know why? Because I hate crawling on the dashboards. Remember that train monkey we were talking about? We need that train monkey right now. I told you. They right. make millions. Oh, oh my head. All right. Can I get a 9 16th? No. Tell our Funky to get us a 9 16th. Funky our has boy. his hands full right now. Oh, Funky boy! Got my hands full and wet with brake fluid. Hold on. I just can't find good help anymore. You need 9 16ths. What? Open it? Open it. But the brake switch is leaning I'm all tied up here. The brake switch is leaning. It should be kind of on this angle where it goes through the tab. But the steering column is pushing this side of it. So it goes like this. 
I'm turning this thing a half a flat. Somebody do the math for me. How many degrees is that? I think we're going to take the master out to do this. It's, it literally, I can't turn it. There's 12 things in the way. I'm coming out. Kind of. Sort of. Not so much. A little bit. Here I come. There it is. Okay. Ugh. No kids push anything these days. I skateboard, I had to push it. My left leg was like a freaking Hulk. I need to shorten that rod just a little bit. And I mean the uh, master from the booster and just pull it forward a little bit and get that rod out. We may not even have to take it out. If we get this out of the way and then push the brake pedal all the way down, maybe there's something we can adjust on this side. Be cool. Could be good. Can you go in the car and step on the brake pedal gently? I don't know what. I don't know what would keep that from turning. There's no jam nut on it, unless this is the jam nut. Stick out your tongue. Stick out your tongue. Right. I felt like it feels With like Ecuador. It's probably feels like a, it feels like a week ago. I was sweating wishing it would stop being hot see it's people like you piss me off <laughs> don't ever ever stop wishing for it to be hot oh i hate hot i love this weather oh, this is perfect right yeah now. but we get three weeks of it uh, maybe yeah i can turn it it's stiff though what about now oh yeah yeah freed up so it is a rod huh well, here's the thing. I don't know. I don't know if it's the rod. I wish I could get just a little bit more out of this. This diagnosing, not diagnosing shit is tough. Oh, Jesus! What the hell are you doing on my car? All right, see if you can turn the wheel. No. Yeah, it's definitely in that rod. I can't turn that at all. I could turn it. All right, it's definitely in that rod. So right. what's going on? It's they had to make it. Is it I, just it's it's too long, right? So now we have to figure out what to do. Cut it. I honestly, I don't even know why it won't shorten. The clevis is tapped. It's supposed to be tapped all the way through. I mean, you should be able to, not that you'd want to go all the way through the end of the clevis, but we should be able to take up a quarter of an inch. It's stopped at the end of the clevis. We can take it out, we can cut it. This is the problem. Working under there, trying to get that clevis out. You can't get it out from this end. Uh, let me see if I can get the rod out. Maybe we can take the rod itself out, but what do you have to cut it with? You have a hacksaw, sawzall, metal blade. I have a sawzall. And a hacksaw. Grind them when I do <laughs> No, that's a. All right, that's let's. Uh, Listen, I have shit from the 1960s you'll laugh at, but I have it. You know? You're from the 1960s. Uh, I'm from the 1960s. Yeah. You're I like the 1960s. More from the 1960s than I am. All right, just for that, it's a water break. Your flashlight. Awesome! Will this work? Sure. <laughs> Look how old that is. <laughs> Nothing wrong with old. A hole in Rod's Cadillac. Go ahead. I will tear your nut hairs out. Ooh, guess how many I got. <laughs> I gotta got take a picture of this. Am I raising one side of my lip? 
Yeah. My anger. <laughs> is that my angry face? <laughs> I think this is going to be the thumbnail for the video. Yeah. <laughs> you see, you got to get the view from here with the... <laughs> All right. I jumped. Oh, God, I'm bitch. coming out. I want the world to know. Need help? I hate this car. I'm going to try to find a picture of us working on the car when we were putting the engine in and see if... Well, I didn't find that, but I found this. That's me in the middle. That's fucking great, isn't it? <laughs> we're a kiss for Halloween. I have a feeling this is going to turn very easily right now. Alright, so this was at a shop we will not mention. And the shop made a longer push rod for Rob because they said it was too short, which it probably was, but at some point, somebody probably should have checked that this one is too long. 56, 57, 58, 59, 60. Yeah, don't kill it. You're taking me back off anyway, huh? Well, if we go for a ride, I would prefer your wheel with three lug nuts on it, <laughs> not to fall off. Even though it would make great content, me pissing my pants watching you chase your wheel down the street. Now, when has that happened before? Wheels falling off of 56s? I cannot confirm or deny. Um, Go ahead in there, little monkey. Tighten that one up. Loosen that one up. And we give him a banana. A banana? A banana. Something's pulling back on it. Oh, I was really hoping I could get to that and I can't. You, you can't even believe this shit. The brake pedal arm that comes down, the brake pedal's here. There's a hole through the brake pedal. There's a clevis that goes over the flat part of the brake pedal. And when you step on the brake pedal, there's a pin that holds the clevis and pushes the rod. Kind of makes sense. That pin, I can't even turn it, let alone get the cotter pin out and knock it out. It's so tight. Can you give me something to lay on? Like, I don't know, anything besides like a pointy screw, I think, or another pointy screw. You're not gonna sleep on that thing, right? No. Is it? Is yeah. it? Came from the basement. It's okay. got like spiders and shit all over it. I like spiders and shit especially. Could it be rusted? This thing will literally not turn. I got a knife. It's going. Getting this back in is going to be a fucking motherfucker though. So you see that clevis right there? The brown, and the jam nut, and then the threaded rod? That clevis right there, if you can come up just a tiny bit more, a little bit more, to the end of that you'll see the pin. That pin right there on the other side has a cotter pin through it. Very common, clevis, pin, cotter pin, all go together. That pin will not turn, will not move. I literally have no idea how it got so tight. It's like gold or something. But it's loose on the pedal shaft itself. So what we're going to try and do is take that piece of threaded rod out right there and we're going to see if we can shorten it maybe a half an inch. Hmm. Ah. Oh, it's turning. Does that help? Oh yeah. This thing sucks compared to that. Now here's another uh, thing. If you cut it, and then afterwards you find out that it wasn't the rod to begin with, and the rod was the right length, then we'll It's the rod. I told Rob last time I used this, I'll show it to you in a second. I told him, I said, throw this thing in the pail and get a real vice. Look at this thing. We're going to 
Jake Clampett. takes three turns to get it loose. I gotta show you that little beautiful piece of unobtainium. That's Americana. Mercury and steering wheel. 55 Mercury accessory steering wheel. Oh, Rare okay. stuff. An accessory steering wheel. Andy made fun of me for paying 1100 bucks for this thing. I'm still making fun of him. And then you paid how much for your eyebrow molding for your 55 Nomad? 2500 there you go. Come on. Oh, I can right off. All right, let's see what else we can go fuck up. Rob? Yes? Stick that thing back in here, please. I'm going to stick it in. Uh -huh. Go slow. All right. Come up on your end. There you go. Boom. Now that we adjusted the rod to the right length, the brake light switch is a, a good three-eighths of an inch away from being pushed in. It's got to be pushed lock. in. And you got to see the size of the nuts on that motherfucker ain't going anywhere. That's a New York double negative right there. Any bigger. This is the dumbest shit I've ever seen in my life. Am I complaining out loud or is that in my head? Out loud. Ah, shit. I do that all the time. Is it off? The brake lights? It's off. Are they on? They're on. Alright. I touched it and literally grounded it out and sparked it three times. And that fuse didn't pop. Which I'm curious if there's a 50 amp fuse in there or something. Break. 10 amp fuse. How in the fuck did that not pop? I literally, I, I made three sparks with it. This is not for anyone to try ever. Conversation. We may be able to go for a ride. I'm fucking dizzy. You dizzy? Yeah. You're not blonde. Rob lent me his sweatshirt. Or maybe you lent me Janine's sweatshirt. I don't know. Don't, why would I have something that fits you? I don't know if you've noticed the size of you lately. <laughs> On the size of me lately. But my arms haven't shrunk. And yours haven't grown. So technically you're right.
short it and Of adjustment in that in that brake pedal rod, yeah. there is. Yep. You got to push the pedal quite a bit before yeah, it starts. Know, but we got to sneak up on it because yeah. it goes from. I hear you. The brakes are I not fantastic. Yeah. To the front brakes are locking up. So. They're, uh, yeah. They're they're just barely adequate right now. <laughs> yeah, I can tell by the way you were driving. Something else going on. I do have a little something spraying on my windshield. Is it antifreeze? I can't tell. It doesn't smell like anything, so I don't think it's antifreeze. How can it be? Very little. You can you see barely, barely, barely see little droplets in there. It's actually it's spreading not. like it's oil. But where would oil be coming from? There, right there. See it? How did we lose the 10 millimeter? That was the wrench. Does everybody go through this? I'm taking my jack stands and I'm going home. That's my head again. I don't know. But you know what I know? We're loading up and going home. Yeah, I'm tired. It worked. That's hot. 